Some important methods for the liquefaction of the gases are number one, Faraday's method. In this method, the cooling is produced by using a freezing mixture of the ice and the various salt. The gases like the sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and the chlorine, etc., can be liquefied by this method under their own pressure. The second important method for the liquefaction of the gases is Linz method. In this method, cooling is produced by free and sudden expansion of the compressed gas into a low pressure region through a small nozzle repeatedly, thus ultimately they get liquefied. As you can see here in a diagram that the fresh air enters to the compressor where the gas is highly compressed at 200 atmosphere. Then pass through the refrigerating liquid, the gas follows the pipes and comes out through a small nozzle to the expansion chamber as you can see here where the pressure of the expansion chamber is very low that is one atmosphere and the gas get cooled. By repeating this process several times, the gas change into the liquid state. Third method for the liquefaction of the gases is the Claude method. In this method, the cooling is produced by a free and sudden expansion of the compressed gas into a low pressure region through a small nozzle as a companion by doing mechanical work using usually by pushing back a piston. Remember that all the gases including the hydrogen and the helium can be liquefied by this method because here the cooling produced is greater than that produced in the Linz method. This process is repeated again and again and ultimately the gas is liquefied. As you can see here in our diagram that the process is the same as in the Linz method but here the gases also do the mechanical work by pushing back a piston. So here the cooling is greater than that produced in the Linz method. Don't forget to like this video and share it with all your friends and subscribe this channel Digital Chemistry.